Hi, welcome back to Moosey Chemistry. This is Electron Configuration of Holonium, HO lesson. All right, well, HO happens to be element number 67. So we're going to put that down for the atomic number. All right, and its atomic mass number, the AMU, is going to be 165. Okay, so that means we have 67 protons. 67 electrons and we take 165 minus 67 and that'll give us 98 neutrons okay so let's go ahead and let's get started with the electron configuration remember that s holds two electrons d can hold six d can hold 10 and f can hold 14. and we start here at the top of the diagonal rule to do the off-ball principle which says he filled all inner shells first before you fill the outer shells, right? Or the lower shells first. So, 1s2, and we're gonna use up 67 electrons, of course. So 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, see I'm just progressing, that's pretty nice. 3p6, it's just that simple. Yeah, 4s2 is no, I mean, it's not, it's not hard. 3d10, 4p6, if you can count, you can do this. 5s2, no big deal. 4d10, wow. 5p6, excellent. 6s2, you better believe it, and finally 4f11. Wow, that wasn't hard. No, not at all. Let's do orbital notation, which uses Hun's rule. Again, Hun's rule is you have to put an up arrow in every suborbit before you start the down arrow of that particular suborbit. 1s is pretty easy, it just goes up and down. 2s is up and down. Yeah, now watch this 2px, 2py, 2pc. You go up, 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 put an up arrow in every suborbit, and you start the down arrow. See that? Pretty darn simple. Oh, yeah. Sounds like the Kool Aid guy, you know. <laughs> that guy must have some incredible insurance premiums. You know, every time you make someone makes Kool Aid, oh no, oh yeah, breaks through the wall, you know. Destroys people's houses. You know, imagine. <laughs> like, oh no, we can't insure that guy. All right, anyway, just kind of some fun stuff as you go through and fill this up. Okay, so let's see one, two, three, four, five. Still laughing about it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, this is this is just really easy. You know, sometimes it gets so easy that you forget, and that's when you make mistakes, so you have to like be really careful. Okay, now I got to put 11 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, the nearest noble gas to holding you, of course, is also Xeon. We put XE here. You know that's going to take up all of this right here. If you write that XE in there, that takes up everything right here. That's your XE right. So you're going to get half 4F11. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 2 And then, of course, the quantum numbers using poly-exclusionary principle stating that no two elements can have the same set of quantum numbers. So each so quantum numbers are used unique to each particular element, which is pretty cool. Now, holonium looks like it's in period six going across the periodic table, but it's not because it's in the F block. So remember, F block is N minus two, so it'd be six minus two, which would give me, of course, four. And that's where my N goes. Since it's the F block, if the value is three, 
And the magnetic number for this one is zero. We count across. And then finally, the last arrow right here is going down. So it's one half negative. And that is it. Pretty darn snarly, huh? Well, you guys be snarly too. And we'll see you back here at Moosin Chemistry.